Hello, uh, this is the ninth video on the global image database. In this video, I would show you how the images will be displayed on the globe uh, when there are live updates. Rather than showing in a live window, I would show you in a kind of uh, a separate window. Uh, so first, I will run the software. So this open up uh, our data. So this is a website and if I go to find images, I have uh, the basic and uh, AIS. So I'll just load the images. So what happens is uh, once these images are loaded, maybe during a, a live update, maybe there are like 10 images loaded. So just as a case example, I'm going to show you how this 10 images will be displayed. So I've added another uh, number called show cluster, another button. So if I click on uh, show cluster, you would uh, see over here certain uh, circles appearing. That means if I zoom it out completely, nothing will be uh, visible. So if I zoom in, you can see all the circles coming in. And you can see like there is a cluster here, there is a cluster, there is another cluster and there is another cluster here. So if I further zoom in, uh, I have that clusters getting separated and uh, if I zoom directly over here, you can see there are uh, more images in this region. So basically what I have done is I have just put uh, some billboards uh, which is called circle ping images which kind of uh, uh, combines when you zoom it out and I can I have put uh, a fade uh, uh, thing also so it's just like putting a kind of pin at each location uh, this was one of the easiest thing to do so basically uh, uh, earlier there are better ways to do it uh, here what I have done is there is a there is a very complex algorithm called clustering algorithm where you give a name uh, in our case it will be uh, an image name and it's latitude longitude lat long data you can give it uh, latitude longitude and what happens is you can choose what algorithm you have to use like clustering or there are several algorithms available and if I click on the cluster data this is the data what will be available so in this case if you look at it very close you could see that every image gets round up uh, in a block so this is these two are close because these two images are close and then this becomes a circle then there is another bigger circle there is another bigger circle so circle 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 wise you can make a big block telling that all these are in one block so for example this becomes one block this becomes another block so it will be like a cascade uh, of circles so basically uh, what I did is like I took this algorithm and I implemented inside our website uh, it's called hierarchical clustering um, I implemented it inside I have put some settings uh, also here uh, where I can choose the clustering algorithm hierarchical k-means so the right now I have implemented only clustering and I could ch choose some other extra parameters. So what happens during that time is I was getting a lot of circles because this contains a lot of information and the circles was not uh, very accurate specifically because it works in two dimensional. So you have only X, Y information, but in our case, it's basically 3D information. So that transformation was not coming properly. So uh, I uh, have uh, all the algorithms already set up, but maybe I need to uh, look at the projection. But if you're happy with just this thing, I think this is kind of good to go. So I'll just show an example with that uh, clustering. So I'll just uncomment uh, this one where it takes into account the clustering as well. So I'll just uh, uncomment this part, which takes the information from that clustering uh, and I'll just uncomment these two. And now when I run, so 
I just open I go to find images AIS search and now if I show cluster you can see that there are big balls appearing sorry big uh, uh, circles appearing so these are all those additional circles which basically clusters down to smaller and smaller circles uh, uh, and you, I can adjust all these fading things so that it appears like there is a big circle in the beginning then it clusters down to smaller and smaller circles depending upon the uh, the zooming level so I need to do some adjustment uh, one of the biggest issue what I had faced while implementing this was there are some limitations in CZM so if this is a, actually a sand castle example from CZM so what you see over here is two type of objects one this is called a billboard and this is basically a primitive uh, primitive objects so the feature of billboard is if you look at the billboard if I'm zooming it out you can see that billboard is still visible so even if I zoom it out completely it is visible and but uh, these things are not visible right these blocks so basically my objective was to use these blocks as circles but the problem is uh, fading out was not available in this primitive but fading out was available in this one uh, what I mean by fading out is uh, if I look at this billboard example and if I say fade by distance you can see that the fading when I go closer it is brighter and when I go back it is a uh, very light so this fading can be adjusted only in the billboard but billboard has a problem of that it's 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 too dynamic uh, but the problem with the primitive is uh, you can't adjust the fade so the problem if you don't adjust the fade is uh, uh, that means when you're zooming out you can't control when it is visible and when it so everything appears in the form of a huge cluster so i'm finding uh, both those these things difficult so maybe when we meet in Singapore we can discuss what is the best way to go about it and I thought this algorithm was really wonderful where you can cluster it out into small small groups so there will be a circle just above Bangalore and, th and this one because they were close to each other then there is another bigger circle which takes all these three things then there is even a bigger circle so as you zoom in this circle should fade out then this should appear then this should fade out then this should appear but that's not really happening because of some limitations in uh, CZM. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, thank you.